So right here, we we're at the Canadian Malting Barley Technical Center. This is our malt lab right here. And right behind me is our 80 kilogram pilot malt plant. So the malting process involves three main steps. First one being steep, second germination, third one being kiln. And the malting process can last anywhere between seven to nine days. The very first step, steep, think of it as the hydrator. This is where any cereal grain, whether it be barley, wheat, rye, sits in here and we add as much moisture to that barley. By adding that moisture, we are starting the growing process where the barley starts uh, chitting, which is the sprouting of the barley grain, is a very important step when it comes to malting. So at this point, we're at the germination vessel, which is the second step, probably the longest and most important step of the entire malt process. Part of the reason why is because not only are we continuing that growth of the barley under controlled, cool conditions, what we're trying to do is tap into those starch reserves. Those starch reserves are going to be used in the brewery by the brewer in order to make alcohol. And without this step, you won't have alcohol. And without the alcohol, there's no beer. So we're at the last step of the malting process. Right here is the kiln vessel. This is where we add dry heat to the barley. Part of the reason why we do this step is one, we try to dry it down for longer storage periods. But the fun part begins where we start adding flavor and color by playing around with the temperatures. Temperatures can rise up to about 80 degrees Celsius all the way to 150 degrees Celsius. And between those different ranges of temperatures, you'll get different types of malts. At the very low end of 80 degrees Celsius, you get base malts, brewer's malts, uh, pale malts. If you increase those temperatures, you'll get anywhere between caramel malts, crystal malts, and black malts if you want to. So next time you drink a beer, if you notice the color and the flavor, a lot of those are contributed back to the final malts.